Properties of sound. Sound is a longitudinal wave. Sound is a pressure wave. Sound is a mechanical wave, which means it needs a medium made of particles in order to travel. The scientific word for that is to propagate. In order to understand how the amplitude and frequency affect the properties of sound, we use a transverse representation. Now, as sound is a longitudinal wave, it has areas of compression and areas of rarefaction. But we can't show that easily, so instead we show the compressions and rarefactions as peaks and troughs. We use a transverse representation. Now, in the past, when we've been looking at waves, we've been looking at the positive and negative disturbance against the distance through the medium. Now we're not actually looking at the distance through the medium, we're looking at one point in the medium and how that point is experiencing the wave over time. Okay, so this is disturbance against time, looking at one point in the medium now rather than looking through the medium. Now, in our first diagram, we have the largest amplitude, which means it's the loudest sound. In the second diagram, we have the highest frequency, which means it's the highest pitch. In the third diagram, we have the lowest frequency, which means it's the lowest pitch. And in the last diagram, the amplitude is changing, so how is that affecting the property of the sound? Thank you very much.